Hi everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. So today we have got Nilavo Mukherjee with us. So he is actually a junior of mine and he has secured a great, great rank in GATE 2025 examination. So let's get to know about his journey and let's get to know a bit about Nilavo. So yeah, Nilavo, please introduce yourself to our viewers. So I am Nilavo Mukherjee and I am a student of Jadavpur Electrical Engineering fourth year. And this year I appeared for the GATE examination in electrical paper and I have secured a marks of around 73.67 uh, yeah. in the last uh, one around last seven to eight months i've been preparing for this gate and uh, if you would like to ask yeah. any questions yeah okay okay so yeah so you so you started basically in the last seven to eight months only before that you never like thought about gate exam so like so, i have appeared uh, for okay i have appeared yeah. in the third year but uh, i didn't get a very good rank in third year okay so just if it's if it's fine like how much marks were you getting can you just specify how much marks were you getting in third year so like people can see how in much third have you year i got uh, 31 marks and uh, okay this year I got wow so can just guys you can see right even like he has appeared in gain in third year he has just got 31 but did matter right it did not matter so in finally he is getting so much so great math so ultimately it's like your performance like your hard work matters so uh you prepared for the last seven to eight months so roughly you can say like uh, like at the starting how you uh, thought like what was your whole strategy like uh, during what time you prepare for a revision test series all those things you can say then we will get into the individual bits so basically what i did is that in the third year when i prepared for i just had the basics of uh, control systems and i only knew about apt and uh, mathematics so uh, i didn't it didn't went well in the third year now in the fourth year, after uh, I, I had an internship. So in that internship period, after doing the job in the uh, office, uh, I got a lot of time. So I started off in June, July in those periods. And uh, one thing I made sure is that uh, since I had the basic concept, since we already study in our uh, colleges, uh, so I had the basic concept. So I started off with the any chapter and then used to give the uh, small chapter wise test. So my chapter wise test, I had started giving in uh, from June, July and uh, moved on to uh, subject wise tests in uh, around September, October. And uh, finally, uh, I started giving PYQ based test series uh, in November, December. And from the end of December, I gave around 30 plus mock tests. Uh, so okay. that was actually a huge number of mock tests. Because, yeah, that is uh, yeah. one thing that. Uh, I ensured is that uh, I have to set my body clock. So yeah, I used to give every day test uh, from uh, three to six p.m. or okay. two thirty to okay. five thirty. Generally around that wow. period. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, that uh, we also tell like after you get the admit card, you sit on the for the exam mock test. Yes, yes, that period only. Yeah. So okay, so, so thirty. No, but, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So, like, what were your marks generally? Like, were they always good, or sometimes they were bad? Like, and what was the lowest? What was the highest? Briefly, can you say? Actually, it's a very strange thing. But maybe it happens to everyone. By all the first test that I gave, it was sixty-two, and in the next tests, uh, all of them, most of them were in the seventy range, seventy to seventy-four, and most of them were seventy-one, seventy-two. So sometimes uh, when I felt weak or uh, I was not in a good mood. Some of the tests had fallen. One was very low, like 51, uh, but more or less they were in the same range. So I think that was, I think I can uh, tell others that one thing uh, they should try to do is that they should give different types of test series, different types of mock tests so that uh, they don't have that pinpoint accuracy because it can, ha uh, which happened to me in the final gate exam also. Maybe this year the paper was a bit easier side, but still I could not get above 75 because uh, of the subconscious mind that plays in the exam that I've already scored in 70 to 75 range, so it will be the same mark. Yeah, yeah. Getting. yeah, yeah. You should not uh, go with a predetermined mind like I will score this much yes, only yes. because you don't know how the level is. And one other important fact he told that you should have multiple test series. That also we recommend because previous years also we got to know right. Few test series had bit of more irrelevant questions. Few test series were lengthy. So uh, like if you just go with one test series, that should not that will not be able to judge you. Yes, yes, it will it's never. To, so it's better to like wide your uh, range. So okay, the test series was this. so mainly uh, yeah, because he has already studied. He was already studying in college. His basic concepts were actually good. So he was mainly focused in practice. So he mainly focused in practice. So uh, so how did you basically revise and like uh, so few subjects you had done 
and future subjects were left so you did those with crash courses or how do you did you complete those or like you just go in the practice questions only uh, mainly what i found out that only tests will help you so uh, i mainly focused on the tests uh, like as i said the chapter wise and subject wise before giving any subject wise test i used to take two days and revise the entire thing and one thing i followed is that first i need i used to take one week to sub revise the entire subject then i started giving only three days to revise the entire subject and now at the end of that uh, at the end of your journey you will start giving only one day in, is enough for your uh, for revising the entire subject and for some subjects in electrical like emft digital or uh, which are low weighted subjects like measurement which don't have a very huge syllabus you can cover it in one day only you can take three subjects and cover it in one day it will be it will be easier for you to revise okay okay so you are taking like if there are small subjects easier. okay 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 so like uh, those notes that you made those were your college notes or like those you made through like studying uh, like for gate specifically or those were your college notes i made some notes but they were basically only for gate uh, preparation and apart okay. from them i had some specific notes for uh, placement or since we, i am also a fourth year student so i had placement oriented notes which were okay. mainly related to power systems and machines so for those oh. i had the basic concepts clear uh rest had to do only numericals okay 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 so you made okay you made the notes through various sources and then from there like you did the practice okay yes, yes. so yeah like he, he was very focused in practice okay so then uh, like how was your gate exam temperament basically so when you went to the gate exam i think the paper was like after seeing the paper paper was bit on the easier side it was not too difficult like not too, on the moderate side only but generally from the moderate to easier side so while you were attempting the paper what was your mindset so what was your strategy for attempting the paper like did you attempt at aptitude section first or the other section or you had some something strategy in mind since i am generally uh, i find myself a bit good in mathematics and aptitude so i started off with those and i used uh, first i completed the aptitude section and then i went for the uh, technical part here i completed first i went through the paper since i am a bit weak in power electronics analog and digital digital there was only one question which was easy this year but i find myself a bit difficult uh, i might find sometimes problematic in analog and uh, sometimes in power electronics so i skipped those questions and i went for mathematics machines power systems and after that i came for the tougher questions uh, so i didn't spend much time on the question that is why i completed my paper uh, in like 2 uh, hours 40 minutes so i had around 20 minutes time but the sad thing is that which i have done and i think many of uh, aspirants have made in this paper is this number of silly mistakes because some of the questions were very easy and like there was a question in parsable theorem it was very easy question the answer would be seven but uh, i thought something that i may be making mistakes uh, i think there is some trick in the question and yes i made a mistake so okay. it has happened to me in a lot number of questions i made okay basically yeah number it cannot be that simple questions. like you are thinking yes, how can i be that simple <laughs> okay 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 so uh yeah during my year also i also uh, 30 minutes were left I, i i was finished i finished my paper within two and a half hours okay so uh then i guess uh so you you were in the paper you attempted the paper in that thing so, so you said that silly mistakes were a problem so during while you uh while you while you were attempting the mock test and the subject work test so you had maintained it sub- something separate copy like a silly mistakes copy so how you used to minimize it your silly mistakes and all those things most of the time uh, the mistakes that i made in the paper were very different from the ones which i have made in uh, mock test because they were mostly in the mock test i made mostly calculation based mistakes or i didn't know the concepts and i made the mistake but here m- most of the questions out of all all the uh, wrong answers that i have attempted most of the questions were only because of overthinking so this year it, it's is just overthinking can lead you to the okay, okay. that was the okay, main okay, thing okay so so yeah so sometimes that's why a little unhappy after the paper quite unhappy okay. but it, yeah it's a fine still you got a good uh, marks i think still you will get whatever uh, you will i think you will get all the options are open for you so that's not a problem uh, okay so yeah so that's that was your gate journey basically so now you can say a little about prefusion like how has prefusion helped you uh, regarding your gate preparation and all those things Yes, I have uh, gone through the FIQ series, which are free courses in uh, your YouTube channel, as well as I uh, used your Power Electronics courses, which was made by you. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, okay. That that course, and uh, apart from that, uh, I have also gone through the questions on control systems and uh, 
mainly that that one helped me a lot that was aptitude because uh, i used to practice aptitude daily so sometimes when i run out of questions i used to uh, come out, come on your channel and watch those aptitude based uh, previous especially the previous year questions on aptitude yeah, yeah. yeah yeah that yes. that was a simple if you watch that then you don't need to watch anything else for aptia yeah. that is yes. like more than enough for aptia yeah, i guess okay okay so like uh, briefly can you say like what was your schedule also like uh, you, you gave 30 mock tests you started your mock tests on december so december till jan uh, yes. last week i think you gave uh, your from mock 20 test. december i started from 20 okay, december 20. i started and till it was jan uh, last week right i guess yes jan, jan last yes last week so you you had only 5 weeks so 5 weeks how you gave 30 mock tests <laughs> it was uh, daily, i guess, uh, i used to in in december yeah, i gave around 6 to 7 mock tests and okay. uh, then i started of daily almost oh, i used to give one or two days gap and most of them sometimes i used to give four days uh, mock tests at a at a stretch and then uh, take one day gap again two days but uh, i think that is uh, but i won't recommend anyone to give that much yeah, mock tests yeah, because like what's one just that one minute one Will one warning i will give to my viewers is that he is talking about mock tests but his mock tests were mostly pyqs so if you are practicing yes. pyqs then you don't need to give that many mock tests uh, few mock tests are not pyqs few are just the, the question design those are those are not pyqs yes. those are separate those are if your number is around 15 10 to 15 or 15 to 20 that's fine don't get scared by his mock tests because he gave like there were i think he told that most yes, yes. were pyqs there were 50% were mock tests on based on pyqs 50% were on it so i yeah. wouldn't recommend someone to do that because in fact i also got burnt out because that is not something yeah that much, that is too much yeah yeah you should balance yes. out like your decision and then mock test and yeah pyqs if you are if you have already been solving the pyqs then you don't need to give it in the mock test in the mock test just buy yes. different series though that will be enough like three two three one coaching are there you can buy that that should be enough but uh, one should always try yeah. different level of mock test that is yeah. important that is, that that is even yeah, if you get 50 important. out of 100 in one mock test and 70 out of 100 in one another mock test it means that you have given a tougher paper so it is good for you and you have, you have given an easier paper too so you will get prepared because this year mostly as i said that overthinking uh, is a big problem because this was a relatively easier paper than the mock test that i have given so obviously i uh, i always yeah. found, thought that there is some trick in this question there is another trick in this question but no trick and yeah, yeah. yeah so Tell like basically track. right uh, the thing is mock test use mock test just for your practice just for your syllabus test yes. don't treat it treat it as a benchmark number that i'm getting 16 in my mock test that means i will get 16 gate examination as well don't treat it like that because gate examination level will be different your main mock test will be uh, level will be different just treat it as your like uh, syllabus improving your syllabus and for practice so that is uh, one takeaway i think our viewers can take like take yes. from this uh, video so yeah i think that's it uh, also set the, the body yeah. clock that will that actually helps Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can that we club. that that we always recommend to our uh, like viewers as well. Like uh, when you are around one to one to one and half months in your exam and you have got the admit card, don't like uh, wake up till late nights and don't uh, like uh, wake up too early or something. Just try to set your sleep cycle and accordingly set in the time slot whatever you have been given. Sit in the examination hall. You should keep your body practice for three hours. So consistently, you should be able to sit for three hours and give the examination. because that is also another factor that many students skip so that is also very very important and one thing uh, i also found out that while giving test we should start with a smaller test first because uh, initially if you are going to give a 3 hour test your body will never uh, you will never be able to concentrate for 3 hours so first if you give 1 hour test yeah, yeah. then 2 hours and then 3 hours it will be fine it will you will yeah, get used yeah. to it but yes i know i can sit for 3 hours yeah so that that's why right that's why we tell our students to first start with a topic wise test then you go into the subject wise then you go to the uh, mock test because topic wise will be very small duration then after the subject wise will be higher and then ultimately the mock test will be higher so you start with zero then you go 1 2 3 gradually you increase okay so yeah those are the uh, main key points i think do you guys can take so i hope yes. that's it from and our the syllabus uh, if you are able to complete the syllabus by october november even if it is completed in december it will be fine like yeah yeah but you should try I to think... cover the syllabus within october it's better okay okay yeah okay okay so because you will get enough time for practice and revision so yes. it will be best if we can cover okay okay yeah so, definitely yeah any other uh, things you want and to say focus uh, mainly on if we are electrical background focus mainly on the machines power system and power electronic these three subjects obviously necessary for it's not only about gate it's overall necessary for an electrical engineer so these three are the main topics that one should be focused on 
that's it okay okay then Anything okay guys side my side like they already know we have we already give enough knowledge so i think yeah that's it from our end i hope you have enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit the like button and we will see you in the next video until then happy learning thank you everyone for watching the video till the end if you also want to prepare in the same manner with prep fusion for gate 2026 and 2027 examination then you can visit our website and apply the code titans15 on all our paid courses and you will get 15 percent off the complete information regarding all the courses have been shared in this particular video which you can check out by clicking on the link that has been posted in the description box. Best of luck to everyone and happy learning.